team fouls can take one more foul to slow down the last one. Exciting game from Xfinity Center. Maryland manages to pull ahead at the end, 69-67. It took a couple of free throws from Ian Martinez to, to avert the uh, would have been an amazing upset by the Hostra Pride, who came in at one and two. They had lost to Houston, beat Duquesne, and lost to Iona. And they almost pulled down the Terrapins. It would have been an epic loss had it happened. Maryland lost to George Mason the other night. Hofstra game much closer than anybody expected. Uh, if I had a hat, I'd take it off. Hats off to Speedy Claxton and the Hofstra pride. Jalen Ray had 20. There were a couple late threes that looked like for a moment when Hofstra led by four points as the clock was winding down that this was going to be going to be a, a life-changing game here in Xfinity Center for Maryland's basketball history, but it doesn't happen. Ian Martinez comes through. Fats Russell, and uh, we've used this term before, channels his Anthony Cowan or his Mello Trimble in getting to the rack, getting fouled and making some free throws. Juju, Juju's a star in the making. So there's a lot of good things that happen, but wow, was this a close game. Not much more to say on that. I'll let Rick Jacklich take it from here for the next minute or so. We'll be back at Xfinity Center in a moment. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacklich Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Center, a stunned by a victory, joined tonight by Peter Lippman, who was a manager with the team for the past few seasons. Um, easy question, what did you make of this game tonight? Yeah, you know, obviously happy to come out with the win tonight, you know, um, but good to see some production from Fats and EA late in the game. Uh, those two free throws from Fats late in the game were huge, you know, um, but you know, happy to come out with the win. Dante and Eric, you know, they're going to come out furious after the loss against our Mason. So happy the guys came out with the win. You know the guys are going to come out stronger, learn from their experiences, and be ready to go for the next one. So you've probably been partially in, in those huddles for a lot of close games. How tense is it in there? You know, it's not Big Ten play, but it's close enough. You know, every game is very serious. You know you're going to get your best shot when you're playing, you know, the 20th team against the country. Uh, so, you know, you know Hofstra's going to come out and give you the best shots possible. And they did. And they did, you know, just like George Mason did the other day as well. So. Right, we will be back in a moment for our last segment here before the press conference. So Maryland ends up going small for most of the second half. Didn't really put Q back in. Q has eight minutes. We have to find out from Mark why that is. They just sat on the bench. Uh, 
certainly was interested in the game, didn't look anything serious. He just doesn't play in the second half. So Maryland rotates. Because Hofstra doesn't have a true center in the game, their center was injured, uh, end up playing, if you want to call it, at the five, end up playing Dante Scott down there. Xavier Green and a lot of Juju. So again, Juju looked, uh, I'll take a Mark Turgeon comment, Juju looked terrific down there. I can't wait to see him develop. Uh, yeah, there's some bumps in the road here. I'm not overly concerned, but it just would have been a historic night if Hofstra would have been able to pull this off. We will uh, be back with you after football tomorrow as Michigan comes in to the shell, as Mike Loxley calls it. And then hopefully we'll be back even one more time this weekend as number six Baylor come to visit the number three women's basketball team here. And uh, this one's for Todd. Field hockey had a great season. They lose in a few overtimes today in the final four. So field hockey's out. Soccer dropped out last night. And right now, the women's basketball, uh, women's volleyball team is playing Northwestern in Chicago. So it's a big Terp Sports Weekend. Check in all weekend with Terp Talk. We'll see you at Maryland Stadium tomorrow.